don't have to work and slave. Plenty electricity, do it for you. You can have your... I will never say that progress is being made. If you stick a knife in my back nine inches and pull it out six inches, there's no progress. If you pull it all the way out, that's not progress. The progress is healing the wound that's the blow, that's the blow made. And they haven't even begun to pull a knife out, much less try and pull, uh, heal the wound. You have, have you have, they won't even admit the knife is there. Gee, do you do right by me? I ain't listening. Do you do right by my people? Take a step. Do you do right by my people? I ain't listening. Do you do right by me? Take a step. Take a step. Do you do right by my people? I ain't listening. Do you do right by me? Take a step. Take a step. By my people, I ain't listening. Listen to right by me. Take a stand, take a stand, take a stand. Colin Kaepernick, a Negro for lease. They love it when they play, but hate it when they speak. If everybody was one race, I'd listen to all lives matter. But since I'm black, I'm talking about the one that matters, the one they beat, the one they kill. Y'all taught us to hate each other, to keep it real. But that was then, and this is now. Take a knee, raise your fist, and do it proud. Right by me, I ain't listening. Do you do right by my people? Take a step. Here, here, you take up. That was real quick. Hey, come in, knock on that. I'm stressed. You feel the way I'm just saying, I'm going to Are we not promoting the smoking? Oh, no, the smoke, No, I'm not dead. I'm going to do a little bit. And you just commercial. I'm going to do a little What it do, what it don't do. Time out, time out. Yeah, yeah. Motherfucking welcome back to the Sundays. Uh, welcome right back, welcome back. You know who I'm is, Mr. 43 Lou, no case niggas on crack, you can turn back. This Chris, you get raised up, you know what I'm saying? Nobody saving us, you know what I mean? Cash that pain. <laughs> uh, Sunday 420, what's up? And this loud ass nigga, light skin nigga. Light Give skin. a lamp. Light another one, Lance. Light another one, Lance. Happy Super Bowl, Beatrice. And and the big little brother, uh, six motherfucking eight back in the building. Bam, 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 bam. God damn it, glad back that the motherfucker is here. Uh-huh. So glad uh-huh. the motherfucker is here. Uh-huh. Um, unfortunately, we got to start the show. Shout out Wayne. to the Illus newscast and all. We of never want to start this seas. motherfucker off. But more RIPs. Just got a new one added to the list. Uh, Leon Spinks. Uh-huh. Just passed away. Was it today? Today, I think it was today. Today, today or yesterday? Uh, condolences to him old. and Cicely Tyson. And, Cicely Tyson, wow, yeah. And again, awesome. Larry King. <coughs> uh-huh. I mean, as I mentioned last week. Condolences to them, man. Uh, Jen. 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 Our you know people. RIP, man. Moment of silence for everybody, man. They name gonna live forever. Ever. Forever. You know what I'm saying? But we gonna get back on the high note. Floorboard. <laughs> Goddamn floorboard. <laughs> Damn that piece of twins. <laughs> Damn that piece of twins. Motherfucking floorboard. Going uh. to little. Nas X. Nigga said he was bored and went and got some boobs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Went and got Wait some titties. Wait for it. Just something you don't Wait know. for he it. Bored. Said he was bored. I'm going like, to get you, some motherfuckers. You, 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 you supposed to get drunk <laughs> and get <laughs> bored and maybe go get a tattoo. Ah, uh, get you. Get a tattoo or something. <laughs> so this nigga went and got titties. some titties. Okay. Okay. Motherfucking uh, floor. Uh, I want to throw everything at this nigga. <laughs> Fucking floor war. <laughs> floor war to that nigga. Oh, fuck man. this nigga's I'm... life. Mm. Y'all support him, go right on the head. I don't give a fuck. Do what you no, do. Not you know what I mean? I'm not against it. Whatever the fuck y'all <laughs> people doing out there. But fuck him. So my personal life, opinion. That was lame. You know, that was lame. <laughs> fuck his shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's in other news. That takes the cake. Um... Huh. Super Bowl. We're we all got the Super Bowl. 
Who you got? I know who you got. I know who you got. Cause mm-hmm. I mean, we know, you know, cause of yeah, yeah. the team, you know. Bernie Cozo is the greatest quarterback 45. of all time. Devin White, shout out to 45. You know he might take it. Second you know. season. Yup. Already there, yeah, let's get it. I mean, Bucks my team ain't there, so I don't give a fuck. Chris so already know. Relative the Bucks. The Super Bowl? Didn't we not just say that? No, nah, we're going to say it again. Devin <laughs> White, get live, 45. Shout out to 45. <laughs> Devin <laughs> White. <laughs> Did we <laughs> not just <laughs> motherfucking say that shit? Well, he that was for the Bucks to get live. You know what the fuck I'm talking about? Get live, 45. That was a special shout out to all my fans. Yeah, this nigga talking about Bernie Kodak and shit over here. No, uh, nigga. That, that was a special Don't shout out to all my fans. That's just as high as I am. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga ain't nowhere yeah, in the conversation. Right there, completely missed the as update. As usual. So, I'm going for right motherfucking... There. I'm he's going for Cuzzo, just because... I don't like... Rick, I don't... What is his name, Mahomes? Devin White. I don't, I don't like Patrick. That's all I hear. Devin White. Patrick walked like a girl. I don't like his voice. Fuck his commercials. Yeah. I don't like nothing about Patrick. Damn. Have like you that? seen him? Have yeah. you seen him walk off the field? No, I didn't see him walk off the field. You need to see him walk off the field. Oh, hell no. Like Just look at his highlight movie. He's he's five. Off the field. That motherfucker be switching. Man. Wow. You got that fucking so, dumb ass uh, hair cut. As as he had the nerve to do a Palomalu com- fucking commercial. But yeah, you're right, though. She Palomalu is 4 3. So, uh, as far as who I got in the Super Bowl, you know, Kansas City, they beat Cleveland to be where they at. So, fuck them niggas. And, uh, so that's how I feel about that. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Who the fuck would you be going for? If you're Kansas City Chiefs, I'm picking the Kansas City Chiefs. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Don't you have a family member? I wouldn't say that. Get live, 45. I'm going, you know. So who are you playing? Who are you picking? So you picking the I'm commercial? Fuck Kansas City. Are you going to pick a commercial? So by default, yeah, I'm rolling with the Bucks. 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 Buccaneers, you know. Plus, we, we got peoples on the Bucks. That the motherfucking yes, sir. Thank you, bro. Uh, Budweiser with my with my bro. Budweiser, Coca Cola, Pepsi, and all them people pulled a sponsorship from the halftime show. Mm-hmm. I mean, for uh, for Super Bowl. Oh, so we ain't gonna have no good commercial. Damn. That's some bullshit. Wait, no, 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 no. the game on. So, motherfuckers, when y'all, when y'all see this, it'll probably be after the game. Because yeah, I know y'all the motherfuckers ain't going to watch this shit during the game. But it's probably be after that's the right, game. Right. And I'm telling you, ain't gonna, it's going to be some right. suck. Because <laughs> niggas ain't got no commercial. We ain't got no, no Bowl Bowl commercial. No Super Bowl Everybody the pulled. the sign of the end of the time. They pulled their sponsors. But the weekend is still doing the halftime show. So, Jay Z still getting paid. I heard he spent like seven million. Shout out to Rock Nation. Yeah, Jay Z still getting paid. I don't know what he built a stage in there. A whole lot of niggas spend money on today. Or something. Oh yeah, Tampa Bay. I guess the whole squad going with Tampa Bay. Uh, I'm I'm not going with Kansas City. I'm just not. I ain't got no. Then I got no love for the Tom Brady for the twitchy ass you know, uh, <laughs> Brock. I don't like nothing about this nigga, man. And he says some racist shit on Twitter. I, don't have I got, I got Patrick Mahomes, man. I'm you know. going with the Bucks, and I don't even like him. Just because Cozo on the team. Straight up. Right? Is this yeah. nigga getting the rap snacks from last week? Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're still fresh. <laughs> Does anybody have a Petty Mike on their squad? Because we got a petty mic. Right, He's the most the nigga. pettiest nigga I've ever met in my life. All right, Monday. Mm. Fuck that. Fat. Sponsorship, nigga. <laughs> that nigga trying to get one. Uh, well, in some serious news, a nine-year-old was Probably handcuffed and pepper sprayed, screaming for her dad. That's by fucked police. up. Oh, man. They got a call that little girl was being irate or whatever. And it was a nine-year-old kid. Yeah. Police put her in handcuffs, had her in the back of the car, and that was sprayed her. Yeah, and she was, that, and she was calling for her daddy. What do you do as a dad? Kill everything moving? Mm-hmm. It's the Try police. Her, you well, going to jail. I know if it's playing and plotting, but you know, that's just, that's just what comes She's with She's probably the eligible kid, for, to, uh, to, to be an yeah. advocate for child abuse and me. get those checks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it ain't worth fucking check. No, it ain't. It ain't worth the check. You know what I mean? That's your little girl. That's your little girl yeah, screaming for daddy. You know what I mean? Mama yeah, couldn't handle her screaming for daddy. You know what I mean? Like, that hurt me more than anything. Screaming her, just yeah. that. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, I can't so be there for my kid. I see this shit on wow. video and I see my kid screaming for me and I can't be there. You're about to have to shoot me. If I'm, yeah, I'm a loser. If I'm just in, a, to have if I'm just in the area and something like that's happening and I hear that, 
It's just natural reaction, dude. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. anybody with a bat is getting swung on. Yep. Uh, talk, man. Sure is. Uh, yeah, that's that's. Some that's a horrible. little bit of old news. Trey Song fighting the cops. Eh. Well, y'all niggas seen that hey. shit. Mm-hmm. Nigga the boys. Didn't want to have no motherfucking mask on. At the uh, game before, you know, nigga, last football your game, ass? Kansas City got the headlock. Nigga had the police in the headlock. Bro, they said that nigga hit him. No, I don't think he hit him. Though. They said he hit him. Uh, I don't know, but I mean, you uh, got you got this big ass guy taking you to the ground, man. You can't, you can't. Uh, there are no more pardons. Why don't you just wear the damn mask? I'm saying, you know, so all you got. Why don't you just wear the mask? It's, it's so much uh, right. put on your necks and all of this shit going on, man. That you, a cop just laying on you like that, you don't know what's about to happen, man. I ain't about to be the next. I can't breathe. It was about seven Shit, I'm motherfuckers. About, I'm gonna give you a couple. It was about five of them motherfuckers. Shit. Fuck it. <coughs> uh, I'm gonna give you some, man. As soon as, as, soon as we roll up, I'm like, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. All my jury. Whoever next to me. It don't matter if we're not in trouble. I'm going. <laughs> That nigga gonna go. to like, if y'all don't know nothing life. about that nigga back then, that nigga's gonna go. Uh, he know one speed back there, and let's go. That's it. <laughs> you got a bad on, It's a wrap. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about somebody I don't want to talk about, but nah. I just heard it just because I thought it was funny that this nigga said he wore a dress just because it matched his Margello's. The f- young thug. He didn't say. He said it ain't because I'm bi or nothing. I ain't want no attention, but I wear dresses just because it matched my shoes. Can't do and it. ain't nobody in his camp telling him that that's wrong. Can't do it. Nobody. Man, you can't nobody. That's who paying. That's who cut your check. <laughs> I'm just Honestly, saying, man. That's yeah, but then check. you see that Rick Ross shit. Oh, what? But he got a new show. Where I guess he's trying to find talent. And the first girl, I guess she was cute. She wasn't cute to me, but yeah, she couldn't sing worth a damn. Fuck the whole song up. <laughs> the next girl came up. Black, beautiful chick, dark skin. Curly hair, tore that fucking song up. This nigga stopped her in the middle and said, nah, baby, I don't think that's quite for you. Wow, okay. And everybody in the comments is like, this nigga got the worst taste in history, bro. Like, <laughs> you looking at that ass. Are you fucking Rick kidding Rosser me right like, now? No, I need that <laughs> Like, that's what they were saying. He we must be stopping that. He must be, <laughs> she had the fake boobs and the fat ass, yeah. you know, the, the whatever, She's the marketable. silhouette. Right, she right. was marketable. She's marketable. Mm-hmm. But she can't sing worth a motherfucker. You got, you got like, you know, but I'm saying, I'm saying that to say, I'm saying that to say, like he had dream with him. He had a bunch of niggas around him. That's crazy. And instead of the niggas That's saying crazy. Ross, what the fuck are you doing? They said, Yeah, yeah baby, like, what's this ain't it. Yeah. They agreed with this nigga. Just instead of saying Nah, nigga, oh, that girl can't sing. This girl was blowing. That's yeah, they signed to his label, ain't it? Yeah. That's why. It's TV. It's but still, bro, it's ain't TV. no way. You it's gotta be TV. real all the right. time. I don't care who. Bro, Rick Ross said, give me the entire You gotta be real all it's the like time. Bro. Bro. You know, that's fake shit. Nothing on the news. There's nothing I'm saying, but with your people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You With your niggas, you gotta be real. You gotta show the. I guess they're trying to get ratings over there. You've been in that industry. We're talking about it. When you're in that industry that long, you know better. You're like, well, okay, I'm not supposed to talk over this person. I'm supposed to agree with this person because that's how I get paid. Yeah. If you're a person who's like, I'm gonna go on the show because I fucks with them. Yeah. And, but I'm gonna be me still. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're not getting away with talking like that. I'm yeah. like, no, yeah. she's a no talent ass. Because the dream and all that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, nah, baby, this ain't your song. Like, yeah. I mean, she was. She, I mean, she could sing, bro. There's, there's yeah. a script to everything that's filmed that's in Hollywood. There's that a other script. Girl, I, I love this. <laughs> the <laughs> other girl. And if you want to say something else, they can hold you to the contract to suit me. And not play with his bum ass face. I be looking at that nigga talking about what's good for you, bro. Just ain't good for me. You like yeah, that? Man, he's mad at me for not liking that shit. He right. had to. I mean, Ross had to be fun. Oh, I, I think she was doing because this nigga was rocking. Shit. This nigga was into she's it. Just marketable over here. This one over here yeah. got talent. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You don't want the, you don't want the talent. You want the marketable because that you know she's gonna shake that ass in the club. I hear him. I said the devil is a lie. I'm asking you on the pole. You know, I'm asking you a question. If you say this is a private conversation, this ain't supposed to get out to nobody. What it what that mean? I mean, say shit. shut the fuck up. I mean, it's, right? it's confidential. Confidential. Right. What motherfucking no, Home Master Flex had a conversation it. with Jay Z supposedly, mm-hmm. and Jay said, "I don't do Instagram or social media because I can't take the truth coming back from people because I'm the most sensitive man in the world." Jay Z said, "This is what Funk Master Flex saying in a private conversation between them two. Now, if it's a private conversation, why the fuck do we know about it? Huh. First of all, 
You know what I'm saying? That's your homie. Why Why would you put Jay on the spot like that if that's supposed to be your homie? Yeah, you can't, you know you can't what see mean? him coming down his eyes. So that's why and he, he said, Jay, Jay Troll. <laughs> 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 he said, Jay, Jay Troll social media from fake accounts. Yeah. Like, what celebrities don't? Yeah, right. Just trying to see what people but say. Re- but regular it. people don't. Just we'll see. Sure regular people don't. The difference between Jay-Z and Hunter. The bottom line is going to be a private conversation. At the end of the day, the difference between Jay-Z and Funkmaster Flex is Jay-Z is whole and Funkmaster Flex is a DJ. But it's it. so by him putting that man on blast, like, you know what I mean? Like, he he going to be controversial to sell or keep his name relevant. You know I mean, mean, he just did the interview yeah, with like, Gilly and them. He might have just said, no need, no hope. He, he just, might, he might have just shot himself for this. Like, why did he break the country? Did y'all see the interview he did with Gilly and them? <laughs> when he kind of shot himself in the foot, talking about liposuction, that he gets lipo, he got liposuction, <laughs> yeah. and he thinks everybody in the industry got it? Ooh, Who's in that? Uh, from Master Flex. What? Then he got liposuction, and you went public because he said everybody else is doing it. Yeah, I'm not surprised. And they come to post and found out like that they were like really doing it. After and he thought that. that they was doing it. That's yeah. the worst. But when did That's Williams, the worst. When That's did how you around and get Kamaiti on your shit. When did <laughs> Williams say LL been doing it forever? <laughs> That's what Wendy Williams say. LL been doing it forever. Yeah. yeah. But still, well, they've been climbing. If shit. you're in that, they if you, if you're in that room, and you got that kind of bread. That's what you want to do. That's on you. I'm but I, I have a problem. The issue is all this. No yeah, the contract that the, the uh, keeps you pipe the ball. Yeah. Met the man, 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 wife been clowning Wendy, Wendy Williams. Yeah, they've been on her hill because she said she did that. That she raped the nigga. She the most. She pretty much. No, she pretty much said she raped Met the man. She mm-hmm. said she put a gave that nigga a date rate drug. Jeff make the go on the court. She, she really That's where she gets she gets all her money. She gets her bed. She, 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 she had a one night stand with Met the Man and she drugged him. <laughs> yeah, you can get, that's the case. That's yeah, the case. That nigga's going to right now. Said that shit. That's the whole time. Did that what he built college? Ain't nobody forced her to say that shit, so why that's she ain't so Why she ain't locked up? Why she ain't in the cell? Bill Cosby locked up. Right. Why she ain't locked up? Yeah, man, that's rape. That's right. That's right. That's because Method Man ain't no snip. If a nigga go to a club, off this shit. A nigga go to a club right now and put a day rape or something in somebody a girl's drink. They go in the club. Rick Ross just said, "Why is he in jail for rape?" That nigga Rick Ross ain't just said. Well, that's because Method that. Man ain't put a put a case on the door. Put a Molly on her drink. She ain't even know it. That nigga lost his Reebok sponsor. Yeah, he lost his Reebok sponsor because of that shit. Yeah. Reebok said we ain't fucking with you. You might get, might get a case after that. Well, Shut up, man. And the whole thing is that she ain't doing it. Yeah. 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 You slip that shit right on in. Somebody, niggas in the club saying it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just molly and slip a pill in her drink. She ain't know it. She ain't know it. Can I ask a quick question? Singing the shit. Since we have a special guest in the house today, you know, you know, the the project old son. Return to the fold, so to speak. You know, we've all answered this question. <laughs> yes, yeah, I, I, I just heard you say something about Method Man, so I'm just going to segue uh, real quick. <laughs> Six, what's your top five MC, hottest MCs, favorite MCs, however you want to put it, of all time? I think four of us are sitting here. All right. That was done. <laughs> real quick. <laughs> and cut. And cut. Right. Uh, 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 moving forward. Uh, <laughs> What was the news? Put it in there. Yeah. I know. I know. We have to count who's on how many tracks and how many tracks and how many tracks and that's my top one. Top five. Both three in this bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Both three. Yeah. Uh, the greatest fact, though, of all we time. We know how we <laughs> raise our children, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what would you do if your child turns you in? <clears throat> Ooh. Hey, listen. <laughs> if your child turns Some you in, some of these motherfuckers need to be turned in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If, a child, if, your, if child your child turns you in, you're doing something. If your child turns you in, I hope so. The you know, I, hope, I, hope I, hope that, I hope that they know yeah. what the fuck is going on. This is a good situation for me. because I'm not doing nothing. This is a good situation for me because it was one of the rioters. That stormed the Capitol, mm-hmm. his son turned him in. Said, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, you're talking about also. Dad, you said you're not supposed yeah. to do wrong, Dad. You're supposed to tell the yeah. truth. Yeah. Like on that movie <laughs> Good Boys, where the one he kid turned, I got, I got this nigga turned his pops in. He always get mad at me. This nigga turned his pops in and said, My pops was there. Yo, there's, there's parents that raise their kids now. Too, like that. Yeah, and I'm going to yeah. be honest <laughs> with you. And y'all know this because when you get in front of the judge, sometimes you get to choose. You're going to say guilty or not guilty. Y'all know how I rolled the dice when it was my turn. Yeah. If. You was in the Capitol and your son telling you what you guys problem with your son for. 
You set a bad example. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just stayed your motherfucking ass at home. All right. <laughs> Watch so, your kids. It's going to be out in the Another kid. Another kid. In our country. <laughs> <laughs> Benzino daughter made a diss track against you. I, I wouldn't. Benzino daughter Which made Benzino a diss. Benzino was this? The one who was laid to rest like 20 years ago? The, the source. <laughs> man, this nigga done got swatted. Have you seen Benzino lately? This nigga uh-huh. done got 50 cents swole. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But so that's what happens when you get every day. That's what all the police do. They're yeah. like, you're trying to get whooped on the ice. Like, what about? But his daughter made a motherfucking diss track. <laughs> his daughter made a diss track and shit it on his whole existence. Man. Damn. And that was ruthless when you used private confidential information. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She, got, she got family pictures. I don't know. Ruthless. It's hard. What if your daughter did a diss track? Yeah. He was a baby. You got a daughter. What if your daughter did a diss track? like, I need it now. Uh, you know, to answer. Matter of fact. To answer. Y'all three got daughters. What would you do, do if your daughter did a diss track? It'd be fire. Man, she, I'm gonna help her do it. She'll ride the shit. I'm dropping one. She'll ride on somebody and it'll be fire. Like, hey, I'm glad she got rid of because her pops don't. I, 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 I feel sorry for whoever my daughter ride on because that's just fucking. Whoever. I'm talking about against you. No, you talking about it. Did you, you not hear the question? We're talking yeah. about your daughter has a diss track against you. Against you. Oh, yeah, but you can't be mad because she got rid of them and you don't. We're gonna talk about it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it would be a good song because she knows a lot about me. I, so she's going to put your business out there. Uh, I, I would have a lot to say about her. I would have a lot to say about her. I would have a lot to say about her. I would have a lot to say about her. I don't know. That's a rough one. Yeah, I don't think I would. I couldn't go back at her. I don't think I can go back at her. My son rap, but if he got, if he do a diss track, I'm going to have to go against my son. You know how long I can't get it. You put yourself in a position. If my son got a diss track, I'm going back to But it's privileged information. Not my daughter. But I'm going to get back. I don't know, man. Oh, if, if you've somehow that's failed. You can't be telling how long he was pooping on his pants. Yeah, I can. You work right to still If he's telling my business, I'm telling his business. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I won't do it to my daughter, uh, but I, I'll, I'll battle my son. Uh, that's true. I don't know. If I'll battle my son. If, if you somehow, my son got talent. If you somehow manage to fail as a human being to the point that your own children are dissing you, maybe something's wrong with the picture. Maybe you need to get your ducks in a row. Like you know, a lot of people are like that. Yeah, like, I don't know. I got a good strong bond with most of you, and I don't think you've been you've been like, uh-huh. you know what I mean. Yeah. And yeah. Don't like down. you know. W- was done in the dark, you stay in the dark. Your kids shouldn't see you no know, dirt that you doing for them to snitch on you in the first place. Like you know no, what I mean? No, that's the whole. Me. That's the whole essence of don't get caught. Like what? don't do that I'm shit in front of your fucking kids. Well, speaking of kids, maybe happened a week ago. But the mass murder that happened in Indianapolis was by a teenager. Mm. He killed a pregnant woman also. Mm-hmm. Killed five people. One of them was a pregnant woman. I think some people are just mm. bodies and missiles are designed. Kids are just, I mean, like that, that's just, it's a different generation. It's mm. been happening for generations. It's, been, it's, it's the crack babies. But we, but we still up. have one every generation. There's always somebody is. The crack baby. You and the bomber, we got somebody. A bunch of serial right. killers running around this motherfucker, too. We got a serial killer. Yeah, I was going to say, we got a, a serial, serial killer around here. Right around here. On the right east side. Yeah. The east side right now is a serial yep. killer snatching females at the gas station. Yep. Mm. Be careful. They snatching Be careful. Bitches. They yep. snatching them. Mm-hmm. Get your stimulus check. That motherfucker was in, that was, he was in line in front of me at Walmart the other day. He was trying to get your <laughs> stimulus check. <laughs> Damn, homie. In high school, you was the man, no, like, and no, homie. Like, nobody's going to run that team. You're not the only one the man. Like, I'm like camera. I'm like, I have no questions, concerns. I'm like the other way, but, like, no one can ask or nothing. Like, you want to no, have no, no, say nothing. I'm like, beer with a mask on. <laughs> you got a boy. You see my ID for You can't see the rest of my You're not going to pass right. that one? I just got to see my forehead. Talk okay, I'm going to pass ID. this one to somebody <laughs> else. It's your turn. Man, I'm out of the We just got started. You high as shit, we just got started. You smoking? No, I'm good. Oh, this nigga ain't smoking all day. Uh, transgenders are now able to enlist in the military. You know, in other news. Uh, just saying, I ain't got nothing against them, nigga. Biden signed the shit. I just read it out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, y'all do y'all the motherfucking thing. Out there like that. Uh, oh, that ain't my thing. Soldier Boy being sued by his old assistant. Said he sexually harassed her, raped her, hauled her down. Jesus Christ, that's a fuck. Damn. Soldier boy. Soldier boy, tell him. <laughs> Superman, Superman that hoe. Superman that hoe. <laughs> I guess he's Superman that hoe. Damn, damn, bro. <laughs> damn. The question is, is he 
I'm saying, like, do, does Black Lives Matter anymore? Because hey. it, it's like everybody doing each other dirty. Right. You're right there. You're right there. I ain't really like, no, I'm sorry. I ain't really heard no nobody matters. really saying Black Lives Matter no so, more. Nigga. Boy, I ain't get really seen no t shirts. Don't be out there. I ain't seen no t shirts. Nothing else happened. 9 11 like that still exists. 9 11, we're dropping a couple bombs. We got a new president, and I ain't seen nobody in the Black Lives Matter shit. There's women like that still exist. He's in the night talk show. They don't talk about nothing. None. There's women that don't talk about nothing. They don't talk about nothing. And other news. And other news. Mm. Amanda Bynes got a rap song. Who the fuck is that? Let's switch. Disney rap star Amanda Bynes got a rap song. Yeah, like, if um, you uh, heard it, you probably went through the mental anguish as I did. Mm. So do not go and listen to it. Mm. But yeah. shout out to Amanda Bynes. <coughs> and if you can't thing. listen to it and try to write a diss track, you can polish up your skills. Uh, she just got out of rehab for whatever she was going through. Tattoo yeah. on her face now. A little heart under her eye. Uh, oh, she kills about that. Thanks to your She got a song out. That shit is whack as fuck. Who Just let you know. Who is this person? Amanda Bynes. You've seen her on the little shows, but I forgot what she is was on bitch? Disney. She was on Disney at the other one. That's her track. Player. That's her that's that's track. That yeah. track. Yeah. Her track gets the floor award. Yeah. Just letting you know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the floor award today. has called out Marcus Houston and Chris Stokes again for fucking kids. <laughs> He said, Marcus Houston, I want all the smoke. Leave the blow boys alone. He said, I, wanna, I want that fade. He said, he want all the smoke. He said, Marcus Houston, I want that fade one-on-one. -on -one Stop being a bitch. And tell your wife what you've been doing to them little boys. He said, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? He said, I will never lie. This is his word. <laughs> That nigga said, I am calling out Marcus Houston and Chris Stokes. He's like, y'all know, y'all, everybody know what they did to me. They are here, they, they fucked them too. Oh, wow. He said, Chris Stokes raped them too. He said, Damn. he did that to all B2K. I said, he fucked them too. Damn. He said, he fucked them too. Yeah, nigga, he said, he did that to all B2K. All the niggas got That's why You ain't heard nothing from Chris Stokes though, right? When the last time you, when last time you heard from Chris Stokes? Years. I That's what I'm saying. Leave them little boys When them niggas came out the first time and said he raped them, he had never correct them. Damn. As far as my knowledge, he right. never correct them. So. Has anybody said something back? Mm, not, that I, <laughs> not that I know. Ain't nobody even corrected them. Ain't nobody Marcus responded Houston, yet. Marcus Houston ain't came back to say nothing. Mm. Nothing. Oh, man. Uh, oh. Jay-Z. Without that to go. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> 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 pay attention, pay homage. We'll be back in a minute. I got no time for it, so please don't bring it my way. Cause if you play me too close, I'ma pull my heat. And if I pull it, I'ma let it spray. I let that thing go. You play me way too close. I let that thing go. So please don't bring it yeah. my way, no It's just by popular demand I turn the heat up I pick up a 50 cal I grab it, drink it like the weed up And I spit on anybody When the battle just get beat up Bring your caucus to my dog And tell him, eat up I reinstate my name and throw my street up Hit the block so hard, call me re-up In the box, go hard, get your D up In that no joke, bro, sports car with the speed up And if I lift the seat up No time for bullshit, I ain't the one dude I'll shoot you and three other niggas that look like you Ignorant, yeah, a little reckless Got rockets over here, not the team in Texas Foolin', what I'm after, we don't settle for bucks I'll send shots in your directions, get retarded Short bus, and you will never ever run nor extort us I ain't a bus scout with a nigga, bus cut Way too much hate, I got no time for it So please don't bring it my way Cause if you play me too close, I'ma pull my heat And if I pull it, I'ma let it spray I let that thing go <coughs> Motherfucker Jay-Z <laughs> Jay-Z put a deal with Trump saying that he would not let Beyonce endorse Biden that came out if he pardoned, if uh, he had pardoned the president. That What's that one lady's name? I uh, forgot. Desiree Perez. If he pardoned her, that's why he didn't see Beyonce like she was for Obama go for Biden because Jay-Z cut a deal that if, she, if he got her out that, you know, Beyonce would stay quiet. <coughs> And now the reasoning is Jay Z and his uh marijuana shit. Yeah. This lady is the president of the company or whatever. So California's not gonna let a felon run a business. Yeah. So if she gets pardoned, it gets off her record and she can run the business for him. So mm -hmm. it's a business move for him. 
Which is the only moves he makes. Which is the only moves he makes. Shout out to everybody that got a pardon. Yeah, shout out to all of them. What you don't make me shit. Uh, and Master P and Romeo Who produced them? a new movie that just came out called Never End Again. Shouts out to Master P and Romeo. Never End Again. Again. Matter of fact, well, it ain't came those out yet. February, February, February 11th. Old, February 11th. They got a movie that they dropped that's called Never End Again. That they produced. They go to Romeo, Joyce. Uh... You know, he, you know, you know George knows just 50 Cent. <laughs> we just 50 Cent does sign Benny Single for State Property 3. Huh? 50 Cent does sign Benny Single for State Property State Property 3. Mm -hmm. uh, they about to drop State Property 3. Shout out to Benny Single. Get down, lay down. Do, you see what he's doing, though? He's big from each little dude. Shout out to Philly. He's doing playing him and... Uh, and whatever movie, the BMF movie you got coming out, yeah. he got all these books of power that's out. And I'm watching every last one of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, this nigga getting longevity money. Yeah. That TV money. Mm -hmm. uh, me, shout out to, uh, you know, Jay-Z and Beanie Siegel doing a deal together again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you want to go. Captain Nova denied bail. His bail was $2 million. $2.5 million, they said he can't get out. Captain Nova denied. Yeah, yeah. Captain Nova got his bail denied. Uh, Leonora uh, stabbed her husband for a pic that she found in his wallet. This is a regular woman. This ain't no like celebrity or nobody. This is just like when your girl going through your wallet. A matter of fact, going through your phone, going through your phone and seeing an old pic in his in his phone of him kissing somebody. Uh -huh. And she come and stab you up. Damn. Oh. Damn. Oh. How old, how old was the pic? Thirty minutes or ten years? <laughs> it was about 10 years. It was, a picture of a it was about 10 years. Yeah. And the yeah. picture that was of her. her. <laughs> the picture was of her. She, she didn't know. recognize herself. Damn! She Damn let herself bitch. go that bad. Get your she didn't recognize road. herself. That bitch. From now 10 you years have to ago. stab him because you didn't go And stabbed her husband the fuck up. How do you let yourself go so far you don't remember who you I are? I would like, never. She lie. went through the nigga phone and said, Who the fuck is this bitch that you cursed, that you kissing? Baby, that's you, baby. No, fuck ain't. It's you, baby. No, the fuck it ain't. It's I don't you. We're on Santa Monica the period. got our faces on the Remember? Doing the Michael Jackson. Michael forever. For real. Doing the Michael Jackson. Do you remember that time? We went here. Had to go get my shade. Leo, Nora, you and him also get the full award. You get the full award also for not recognizing your own self and letting yourself go. For not recognizing your motherfucking self in the old picture. Stupid ass motherfucker. Sorry, I can't just throw this rap neck. The psycho whore and the psych whore. Bitch, you need to do something better with your time. T.I. and Tiny accused of trafficking and sexual abusing over 30 women. Oh. What y'all think? Hmm, come on, man. Her Maybe. friend, their friend, Sabrina Patterson, I guess. <laughs> she was into the, There was a girl, her dear friend, Sabrina which Patterson. Which one is Tiny and which one is T.I.? One, they were, they were, uh... Hey, man. I guess hey, she man. was into threesomes with him. You know, both like 410. She yeah. was recruiting <laughs> bitches for him and came out and told oh, him they business. Man, that's allegedly. T.I. came out. Allegedly. That's what I'm saying. T.I. said allegedly. we ain't having drugs, allegedly. nobody. Uh, we got all the bitches that was into what we was into. We was doing grown up shit, and they was into what we was into. We ain't drugs no motherfucking body. Man, them bitches. That was his response. Them I'm bitches sure. be lying expeditiously. I mean, yeah. <laughs> all the time. Anybody else? Them bitches be lying expeditiously. Nobody do that shit. So I don't know. Until some shit come out to prove that, I really. That's defamation. Yeah. I don't know. I don't see T.I. doing that. Man, man, as much as he stand up for black women and stand up for our culture and speak about yeah. us, and hey, Tim, I don't, you I don't see T.I. Now, if he did, that's, that's a perfect that's cover. cover. The girl that already recanted that fuck you got. If he did, that's a perfect cover. I think he's too bad. But I don't think that. I don't think he has to. He's too bad. I don't think he would have to tell no bitches. The girl that said that that happened has already recanted her statement and said that she lied. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dre Hustle. Yeah, she's already said that she lied. This happened, this happened by 2014 or something. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? This is 2000. Was but this just came out like. I know, but it's, it's, they wanted. It's, been, it's, from, it's from way back though. Oh. You know what I'm saying? And they were like, why is she bringing this type of shit up now? Mm -hmm. She ain't never said no shit like this. Trying to get a check. See what it is. She's trying to get a check. Oh, you got her, you got her, her gay shit talking. Like. 
She saw the. She saw just like the woman going to black man. The black lives matter. Gaisha is actually talking about it. But Gaisha knows. Knows. She cut it out, she said, bitch. The, the bitch went in there. She went in there to whoop the stylist, whatever. You know what I'm saying? She said she asked Tiny for a shirt. I mean, uh, some underwear. And Tiny said she didn't have no, no new underwear. She's like, fuck she you. Was you was some, of the, some of your old ones. A pair of your old ones. You know what I'm She walked out and wanted T.I. shirt. Troll of ass. T.I. was like, I said, yeah, said yeah. T.I. put a gun to her head. You know what I'm saying? What she's trying to say. You got to listen to Gacy, man. Gacy talked about that whole situation. G E I S H A. Yeah, Instagram. You know about yeah. She been you know going in on, on motherfucking uh, on yeah, Trick Daddy, right. man. I'm Trick sorry. Daddy. Whatever you did to her, you didn't apologize. Uh, Trick yeah, Daddy, I suggest you apologize. That's your help for weeks. She been going on it. That shit. When a person tells you your eyebrows are so far apart, they look allergic. Tad Polish. Hey, you need whatever. She said, she said, this was this is a picture of you then. This is a picture of you now. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she be going in. Oh, bro. yeah. She said, Your hair's so big, like you think for everybody. Going <laughs> so, so, for all you motherfuckers, uh, uh, Young Thunder, <laughs> don't ever go to my you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't be backsliding, you know what I mean? Stay, oh, stay strong. Yeah. Man, she you know what I mean? Hell, keep your post game up. Yeah. <laughs> You know what the hell? Like 45 minutes. Instagram. <laughs> Instagram not letting you get your learn. ducks in the row. You got to keep them in the row. Hey, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> on some, uh, <laughs> on some non <laughs> important news. You ain't like, the Breakfast bro. Club and Benny Boom have denied their, the colorful uh, fella. He even came back with his beard and a new song with the Breakfast Club said Ooh. no to an interview. And Benny the Butcher said no to a verse. So. Fuck uh six nine, you can't get no play for snitching. We're not gonna let you, you all the do that shit and then <laughs> rap on our culture. It's not gonna happen, nigga. Fuck you. Yeah. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say about it. Twenty-four million dollar diamond. Hell no. What? Twenty-four million dollar diamond. That's who I was I do. Twenty-four million dollar diamond in the Pink forehead. In yeah. the forehead. And then, uh, well, listen, that's people driving right now, probably from my house. I'm to drive by just to get close to that, bro. <laughs> but, but like, like it, and my and brother put that in the way, and it's like, out. like, I could be your bartender yeah. and change my life tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll snatch your whole forehead out. You're going to have security for like security. Like, here's what you want to tell me. Like, how you going to trust your security while you sleep? You're going to have security for security. I will snatch your whole forehead out. You got $24 million dollars in your forehead. You got to sleep in the field. I'll take your little ass out and snatch that shit out. I will run right by you on the and even if, I get, even if I get only a couple million, I ain't even got to get the whole 24 million. I get a couple million. I'm facing the like the biggest prosthetics that shit. Niggas, have you seen that shit? Yeah, yeah. Bro, they are. Would you play this? I'll tell you the last time I seen it on the Now, now Sauce Walker. Sauce Walker got the little quarter million right here. You know what I mean? Sauce Walker got the quarter million right here. I dig that. You know what I mean? That wasn't too bad. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You got the little drip. Drip. If you got the little money, you everybody got dermals. Little Wayne been doing it. You know what I mean? Everybody got dermals. You know what I yeah. mean? That's that. I, I get the little. When did that? Look, put a diamond. I get that. Mm-hmm. But you don't put no twenty four million dollar in the middle of your motherfucking head. That motherfucker look like Johnny 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 said, eighty billion. <laughs> Bro, I will, snatch, I will snatch that shit the fuck out your head. Yeah, yeah I will. Sex, Every sex. time you got a concert, you got to be, be aware. Now you, you got, got a group of niggas show, that show, want to yeah. rush the stage. They took Young Bird's chain. They want to help you with your face. For real, <laughs> nigga. They snatching chains, nigga. What the fuck are you doing your face? It's fake. They snatch NBA Young Boy chain. Hey. They snatching all these hey. chains out here. You know it was a super thirsty ass girl. Uh-huh. Like, 24. Nigga, there's a group of niggas right now. I'm telling you, let me get his address. Let me Eddie come out with you. Rhyme your hood, my pops will snatch that shit out. Nigga, anybody. That's because you fucking retarded. Nigga, let you fall asleep and be drunk. Nigga, you just sitting there chilling. I'm gonna cut this shit out. You're gonna have a patch in the middle of your motherfucking head. I fuck with you, Ooze, but no, I, I, I. When our powers combine. Uh, I honestly, I can't name a song. That's that funny shit, though. I can't. I honestly can't name a song. Ain't the Lord. That's that funny shit. You know the song of Lil Uzi? Put those diamonds in your fucking pocket. I know my all my friends are dead. <laughs> yeah, that, that and then the feature on Migos shit. 
Yeah, that's it. That's, 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 I mean, I feel like, that's, like all I, that's really all I know. Like, 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 around the like I'm not knocking you, Boom, my nigga. Man, I'm fucking music, but <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just don't listen to it. How you wear that way? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna snatch it over here. Shine like a diamond. Oh, damn! Right in the forehead. Right on the forehead. Gotta be crazy. He gonna sneeze or cough too hard one day in that shit. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's an uncle in this motherfucking family right now talking about this boy. I always do you with it, right? <laughs> I'm trying to plot to get that shit. Yeah, I always told you that boy went right. There's a girl man, trying to. There's man, a girl man, trying to reach that shit. Look at it, right? Look at it. No, man, you, man, you can't trust nobody. You can't trust the groupies no more. You can't trust security. You can't trust nobody. Nothing. You got 24 million on your head. No, your mama ain't got your head. Your mama would take that shit off your motherfucking head. Yeah, you put a bounty on your own shit. You can't fall asleep drunk nowhere. That's the last time you put a bounty on your head. Yeah. <laughs> for yourself, you put it on your fucking head. You put a bounty. Anybody want to kill me? It's twenty four million. You're like, okay. Oh, oh, you're, and you could get a consent. Man, you can walk by me, like no, nigga. You could be in the same no. room as me. Man. I'm plotting. I'm, I'm plotting. You ain't got to Just walk, walk by that snatch. No. Snatch no. and go. Well, you gotta have a knife though. You that's skin. Man, I walk. I take skin and all. You all gonna twist that motherfucker? I get, I, I get that skin off at the house. <laughs> <laughs> You twist, you twist the pole. Hey, you got to twist it. It's just like a hat. It's just like a hat. Twist the pole. I snap that on my ass. I'm going to hit him like x-ray. Knock it down. Just coming with me. Hey, I'm not boy. Just saying, nigga. You did it to yourself. Snatch that motherfucker so I break your neck. You got to. Nigga, I bet you got half America out there. Yeah, you're going to be in the country. You're going to be you got half of my half of I'm America in your yeah. Straight up. Uh, he said it won't come out. He said, "Oh, he's coming with us." <laughs> y'all remember when? Uh, y'all remember when? Uh, you ain't even got to worry about retaliation. All his friends are dead. <laughs> <laughs> all my friends are dead. dead. <laughs> no retaliation, nigga. <laughs> Like, Twenty four million dollars. I got no homies. <laughs> That's like snitching when you hit the prison yard. <laughs> And all your friends are dead. Yeah, you ain't got nobody to help you. Yeah. You're alone. Who's hungry? <laughs> I know people that'll snatch your watch right now. That's only worth two fifty. Find out it's a psycho from Walmart. You still pretty good. Hey, you made the fuck up. Real man. Hey, some shoes y'all again. remember when? Uh, well, your boy here is life changing. <laughs> You remember when T Grizzly brother got out of jail and this nigga yeah. waited for him with all the money and the Maybach and all that shit? Straight he up. back in jail. Damn. Damn. Already for a oh. uh, concealed weapon. Mm. Oh. They found weed, Higher alcohol, se- and two forty fives. Just a little shit. You go to jail with this diamond in your pocket. They got this. Yeah, nigga. How do you go? You gotta be a protective custody. Fight for real, nigga. You better not go to jail. Who's all the way to jail? They gotta take the. You gotta live in the governor. We gotta take the diamond. I can't go in that house arrest. We gotta take the diamond out. Yeah, real, man. Yeah, that nigga's on the yard right now. Go to yeah, Will. Yeah. Did he? Did he? Did that really happen? Yeah. Yeah. And That's then you crazy. find out, and then what happens is, just, it'd be like a couple days later, and then uh, the motherfucker put in his two week notice. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Well, that nigga that just didn't come to yeah, work. Who was in the prison, you know, who was in the prison hospital yeah. and took the jewel out. <laughs> that nigga that didn't come to work the next day. Yeah, yeah he's out. He's, uh, everybody's attending for it except that nigga. Yeah. yeah. Man, you're asking that shit. Motherfucking, uh, <laughs> the whipping yeah. that nigga in there, he might take it. Yeah. Mm. Whipping yeah. that nigga in jail for killing his, his cousin. own cousin. Mm. Killed his oh. cousin. It wasn't over 24 million. That's a dumb, I don't know what you killed him yeah. for, but it wasn't over the two. You just got done speeding, little nigga. Now you're going to kill your own cousin. That was, nigga just got done <laughs> jumping in the house with a motherfucking machete chasing a bitch. <laughs> You don't got me, you little motherfucking ass. That nigga was going 143. That nigga said, watch me whip, watch me kill this nigga. <laughs> wow. You just killed yeah. your own cousin, you though, dumbass nigga. Down. I don't what know. I mean, y'all got some niggas. cousins y'all want to murk? No. I ain't got no cousins. No, I, ain't got no I love my cousins. Mm. So, uh, you know what? He couldn't come man. up with another hit song, and he ain't want to commit suicide, so he just killed the uh. nigga next to him on some bitch. Motherfucking up. For cloud or some shit. Y'all motherfuckers. Chris Jenner got some sexual harassment charges against her for sexual uh, uh, on her bodyguard. Yeah. What's that what's that other dude out there, man, right, right now that's uh, talking a lot of shit about everybody? Talking about giving it all up. 
Oh, that was that. that, that <laughs> oh, I forgot that nigga smoke. name. You want all the smoke? I, I shared that right shit on my Instagram, man. I forgot that nigga name. But he's an activist. What? He's an activist. And uh, yeah, he down there. He was going hard. He was like, nigga, y'all still support gang? Game, you know, raped that little girl and, and lost that lawsuit and paid out that little girl all that money. Mm -hmm. And we still support him, but the nigga that was doing, like, everybody was doing the challenge too, that we was talking spot him, got him. Yeah. yeah. How he snitched or whatever he did was he was 13, him and his mama witnessed his brother get killed. So his mama said, go to the police and tell them what you know about your brother getting killed. Uh -huh. You're 13, you 13, he wasn't even in the street shit. When, you know what I mean? That wasn't part of his life yet. Mm -hmm. So that's his snitching. And snitching, you know, saying who killed my brother. Right. So that's what they blackballed him in the industry for. They everybody took down their motherfucking uh challenge mm -hmm. of his name. You know what I mean? They was there, everybody was doing the, doing the dance and right. shit. That's interesting. Everybody talk. took they they motherfucking challenge down. That's some crazy shit. Huh. Well, if it's you know not, what I mean? So he was like, we support game and we supporting all these motherfuckers as raping girls and all this shit, but. This nigga was Rick Ross. He was well, a cop. You know what I mean? Rick Ross was a cop. <laughs> now he's going like 20 well, years old. Now a nigga 20 years old. Rick Ross took another nigga's name. Like, dude, this name well, was right now. Well, if his mama was a You got to get to the top fast because you got to have to But his mama, but everybody ain't in the uh, game, bro. You got story. civilians and you got motherfuckers that's in the game. His mama was a civilian. He's a civilian. Yeah. He yeah. wasn't in the game. Well, yet. depending and on what So if a nigga, if you 13, you a civilian. You 13, you wouldn't have told the cop some shot Dorian. person, they will kill you. So if Dorian got shot and he was 13, and your old daddy took you up there and said, Tell them what you know. You wouldn't have told the cops to try to find a killer for your brother? Because you love to the fuck out of your brother. You ain't in the streets. You you weren't there yet. Now you're 20 years old and you cripping and you're doing all this and you know whoop de blah blah. But you weren't doing that when you was 13. This wasn't your life. You wanted you was a civilian. <laughs> so what would you do? Earlier, like, That's your brother, man. <laughs> I'm 13. What am I supposed to do to him? I can't avenge him or I'm gonna lose my life. I didn't know about snitching back then. I didn't know about yeah. snitching. I wasn't raised on snitching because I'm not a part of it. I was 13. You know what I mean? I'm 13. I didn't get my stripes until I'm I'm later. You know what I mean? Like I didn't join the gang until I'm later. So what would you do? If I lost my brother, what does that say about your father? Your father understands snitching. And he's telling you to do it. If I if I lost my brother, conversation now. I would but, mix it. But you I don't want your kids to be. Yeah, you don't know where to. You know that's you, kinda, and you know, he, if if I, I, just, post, your father you know, know about snitching, but he is civilian too. He working on the right. car. If we if you get in a car accident right now on the way down, that's your brother. And that's your brother. Tonight, right, not your brother. You get in a car accident, three, four, four, five car pile up. You the only motherfucker alive. You're not gonna call the police and tell them there's a big old accident right here. That's you don't brother. know that the shit was intentional. So now people's losing. That's my brother. Man. I'm doing whatever I gotta do. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 if my brother, I, would, I mean, it's, it's, I would, it's my brother. I'm I would, I'm I would, that's my brother, man. man. As a human yeah. being, that's my brother. I can't answer the question, but I will say this: If I lost my brother, I wouldn't trust. Avenging him to anybody else, especially the motherfucking police mm. or the justice Sounds system. Good. Sounds good. So, so you're gonna kill him and you're gonna kill him. My brother's hanging there bleeding to death in front of me. So you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna, gonna all your brother is bleeding. bleeding. I guess you why did your brother die? You everybody looked at this man in his motherfucking eyes. You looked at the killer in his eyes. You're 13 years old. You watched him kill your brother. He laying on the motherfucking ground. Your mama walk in and see the same exact shit, and you tell you're not gonna call the police. And there's, there's, there's a fine line between me, between being an unbelieving being and being right. a person who I'm calling everybody. You know I'm what I'm calling saying? Anybody, 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 anybody I know. Come uh, help my motherfucking yeah, brother. Right. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna call it paramedics. That's just common sense. When you call it paramedics, the cops are coming. The cops are coming, cops are coming too, man. Yep, and the coroner. And, and what are you gonna tell them the whole time? You ain't seen nothing. And they're over there. They're gonna get right. Dead. It's already dispatched. Yeah, I know it sounds good like you're Liam Neeson in a fucking movie, and you're like, no, I got this. Don't worry about it. Because you used to be a Navy Stay up in the green beret. Right? <laughs> now you're like, what the fuck? They killed my brother. Exactly. <laughs> they right. was in this color car. You go look for him. I'm calling you. You're going to look right now. And they're gonna treat me like you're good at jewelry. We already got the green Right now, niggas kill me right now. Yep. You gonna you I'm gonna avenge my death? That's the news. You gonna call the police yeah. or you gonna avenge my death? And you go to jail right now for the rest of your life for me. Yep. I will have some emotions to sort out. See what I'm saying? You didn't have that kind of time. You're but really mouthful. Now <laughs> this nigga, forty some years old, he got some Thank emotions you? to sort out. Know, but at thirteen, you know what I'm saying? Come on, exactly. Don't work like that.
the mental, the mind don't work like that when this shit's happening. You see something, say something. Now, if you become a part of this <laughs> lifestyle and you know there are consequences to the decision and the lifestyle you're choosing to be a part of, yeah. then you understand what snitching means. My yeah. 13 year old son don't know what snitching means because he don't have to live that fucking life. Yeah. That's why I did it. Yeah. So he's going to do whatever the fuck he needs to do. And if he needs to call the police because there's someone in the house, I'm at work and his mom is terrified, then that's what I need you to fucking do. For well, real, Tom. <laughs> Period. Period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, now, if I call the cops because I'm mad you're getting all kinds of money in my neighborhood. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, 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 oh, that's everybody it. come to work. <laughs> <laughs> like that one new. Uh, and what is and his not name? the police. What was his name? Uh, uh, golf out. court? Little golf cart? Little man, the golf cart caddy. <laughs> what was that nigga name? What was that nigga name? Golf cart? The drop top golf cart. The drop top golf cart. This nigga, look, there's a white boy called him. There's a nigga named a little white boy called He's a white boy called him. He dropped license plates. He dropped license plates. He dropped license plate numbers in his in his song. He dropped oh, eyes. Oh. He dropped iPhones. Oh, he dropped addresses. Top, 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 he top. dropped full names. He, he dropped cruising around Tanawan Country Club. He dropped what they sell. <laughs> to see who's in the parking lot. What neighborhood they <laughs> live in. Nigga, he dropped every info, everything but their social security. Nah, nigga, nah, the FBI is a bunch of This is an FBI case now, nigga. This I ain't got no I heard a couple false friends. Yeah. That's why you ain't heard nothing else because no, no, he got other songs. He got other songs that he do music on. He was getting money, plastic money. You know, he do yeah. other songs. This nigga did the wrong song. <laughs> <laughs> and the feds is on. He thought about that song. He thought that nigga got the feds on. I'm telling you that thing. He was doing the wrong song for all the great people. Right now, he looked at the drop top golf cart. So now they got celebrity boxing and uh, Lamar Odom That's and funny. Aaron Carter. The motherfucking <laughs> uh, singer is about to fight. <laughs> he might faint before the battle starts. <laughs> nah. What they say in this, this one. The Eric Carter they talk about is this white boy is from the hood. He a crip or whatever. Uh, nigga uh, they talk about like uh, Nick Carter, nah, nation, nah, like boy's nah. brother. I don't, know. Drugs, I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know who this Eric Carter <laughs> is, but this nigga got tattoos and like, shit. Yeah, that's Eric Carter. That's Nick Carter. This nigga came from his sleep. <laughs> really? <laughs> they said this nigga was super gangster. <laughs> they, and they bet and they money on he's Eric Carter. Like, it's the gay kid's brother. He buys Lamar Odom. He fighting with Lamar Odom. He's all tatted bag. He's had issues for years in and out of rehab. He's fighting Lamar Odom, and they said. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I told y'all we should have did it. They, they, they started doing that because it was, uh, it was replacing the complex. Mother. And now they just put celebrities that are both. <laughs> 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 and they were like, well, I we're remember we're them bump fights. Yeah. Yeah. I used to watch that show. Yeah, we all used to watch bump fights. Now they're doing that with famous people. That's the most disrespectful ever. They say, hey, you want to get in this match where we know you're going to get whooped on for fucking three years? That's hilarious. Uh, and they're like, yeah, fuck it. So, uh, I'm back. They're back. I'm broke. I ain't got no more drug money. For you blocking his face with Who your cares? Face. Hope you motherfuckers enjoy y'all snacks. See y'all in 30 seconds. 4 3. Uh huh. Real life. The DC, reason is DC. this. Woo. Talk to him. Talk to him for a minute. Yeah. Me. I'ma show you that it's not a game Put that on the hood from which I came uh -huh. Let me put it to you like this, simple and plain I ain't in it for the fame No money, no food, makes it hard to maintain In these streets, gotta get it how you can Just roll with the punches, don't try to be the man Best to save, get your money up Hard times coming, it's the only way to live In this third world country Listen to that old man, he might be saying something That your ass need to hear, why you walk away from it Mr. Know-it-all, you gon' find yourself by yourself Six feet deep in the hole Oh, homie, I'm nothing else still you gon' listen to Family's grieving as he take his last breath Screaming, please don't leave me Grab hold of his hand as he fights, he's squeezing Another man dead for no reason The reason is this I'm here, I'm here, I'm here The reason is this It's our year, it's our year, it's our year The reason is this I'm here, I'm here, I'm here The reason is this It's our year it's our year, it's our year Come on. <laughs> Before we get into some Black History Month That's what I really want to talk about some Black History Month About some stuff that's really not in the tabloids You know what I'm saying? Like 
people that we don't normally talk about or things that we really didn't know. But before we get into that, I got, got a few questions just because they was on my mind. Um, you do. George Gorgeous. Washington Carver, <laughs> Cleveland. Um, Alex. Top things you'll find in a black person's car. We. We just talked about snitching. I had the first thing my brother said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all of we and them. Good. <laughs> And then you hey, hey, get stopped. Uh, and you're like, you stopped me for no reason. Like, you told us there's going to be a reason. We'll fight it. <laughs> Music that slaps. Music that slaps. Music that slaps. Yeah. Trap. It's on the board. Ding, 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 Trap. ding. Top things you'll find in a black person's club. Fool. What? I don't know if there's anything. <laughs> Because I seen my man, I seen my man do this, so I just want to ask y'all, just because I seen this, and y'all welcome to motherfucking ask, answer the question as well. Uh, you got three bitches that'll do whatever for you all weekend. You got them all weekend, and they gonna do whatever you motherfucking want for a PS5. I'm taking PS5. <laughs> I'm taking the PS5. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm taking PS5. PS5 is mine. Uh -huh. What'd you take it? He gonna take PS. This nigga been serious. He gonna take. He gonna take. He gonna take. PS. He gonna take PSS Light Types Three. <laughs> <laughs> what? You? This nigga said my PS4 works just fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you know what I like to take? So, you gonna take the PS5? Nah, yeah, I'm take the PS5. Oh, that nigga was politically correct. And he said, "Look at the bitch like." They three, <laughs> I'm talking about three Selma Hayek. Fuck it. I'm gonna take the three Selma Hayek. Three Selma Hayek. Fuck that PS. You got all weekend with them for them to lick your booty hole, whatever disgusting shit you. Oh, you're gonna watch Whatever disgusting shit you into, you got three of them that look like that. He said, "Oh, there are some deciding factors." He's like, "Oh, the PS5." did they disinfect that monkey? Because if they didn't, I'm getting the PS5. You filthy ass bitches. All right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm taking PS5. All right. Uh, Facts. I can go get my own. So, man. a very rich chick. Can I just have the $500 of PS5? A very, <laughs> a very rich chick that treats you fucking awesome. I'm packing but my bags. But she's ugly than a you. motherfucker. <laughs> Wait, this is your, this is a choice. <clears throat> Would you choose an ugly rich chick that treat that treats you awesome than the motherfucker? Rub no. your feet, give you baths? No. Or a pretty ass broke girl? Neither. Beauty is in I the eye of the beholder, and I'm shallow. Absolutely. I'm talking about this motherfucker. This motherfucker look like. I'm just talking about Grace Jones yeah, I'm good. and Whoopi take, Goldberg. I'm not doing so bad right now. I'm not doing so bad right now. I'm not doing so bad right I'm not doing that bad. An ugly rich chick that treats you golden. I'm talking about you golden in the motherfucker. I'm unfortunately. I'm taking the rich one. You're taking the rich one? Yeah, no, you uh, know what? Unfortunately, I had to learn that as well. And I got my shit. You're pretty much on the top. Yeah, I'm not even saying you're pretty much. You're pretty much. You're pretty much. You're pretty much. The pretty one treats you like shit, the ugly one treats you like gold, but the rich one is like... No, both of them bitches got red rich, flags, I ain't taking nothing. You take the ugly one? Uh-uh, I ain't taking nothing. Why these bitches so much? I ain't taking nothing. What? What I'm saying, if she treats you bad, though, she brings you the motherfucker, if she treats you bad, she don't you... Exactly. But you would her. Take the sweat, you would have done it. Let's go. I'm taking the ugly one. I'm taking the ugly one. I put a bag right over their head. I'd rather be treated nice than bad by saying yeah, 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 Just say time. no. We no just, means no, no, bitch. You're taking the ugly one. I ain't taking neither. We can go that shit. I got standards. She's rich. He said, you know what? I'll take another PlayStation. I'll take another beer. I'll just keep drinking. I'm going to go Paul Cole these bitches right here. Sign me up. 
Take well, my to go get some cut the script, let's folks. get to the motherfucking topic at hand. We have some other topics that we want to talk about that we're going to incorporate into this one as well. So do you want to start off, Christopher? I didn't mean to call you by your full name. My bad. Well, well here you said start, Do you want to start off with what the shit that you had on your mind? Nah, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I would. No? Next. Why? <laughs> All right, fuck it. I'll go. go. Yeah. We'll be right back. Oh, great. Rick fled ruthless about my business, bitch, I am relentless Oh, you niggas hot now, you little flames I'll extinguish Mortal Kombat past tense, cause him got finished I refuse to repeat myself, cause y'all niggas don't listen Ain't good as fuck, very slim chance that I'm missing Dirty committee in this bitch, it's that new commission Surgical with the steel, with the blade, I'm a physician Earl of Christ, I'm nice, tell it like it is, no shits I'm giving Y'all niggas can't get the picture me while I envision Bust a bottle on your head, son, you just got christened Just so we're crystal clear it's knowledge, aka Michael Lance. The lion and tame, you won't get no second chance. In the pale moonlight, with the devil I dance. Executing exceptional bars with immaculate flow. Niggas can't tell me shit, cause I already fucking know. Yeah, go. Alright, so being that it's Super Bowl, you know, Sunday weekend, I was gonna put y'all on the spot and ask y'all, do y'all have any random football facts or like, you know. Um, I'm not a football fan. Alrighty then, that was yeah. I watch it. I watch it just because on TV. I wasn't a huge football fan. My brother definitely did. Hands on contest, no matter if I was right or not. But um, what you call it? I just watch football because I gamble. I side bet. I side bet. Well, during the football games, I'm gonna Detroit Lions fan, so I get the shittiest team in the league for the last fifty years. Shout out! I watch football because I put money on it, and I'm actually betting on something else. So for this game in particular. Tampa Bay Buccaneers is the first team in the history of the NFL to yeah. play the Super Bowl in their house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hans said that last episode. First time. Did it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's the, yeah, that's the. Yeah. And what's nice too is Brady is supposed to be, re, you know, if they call him to go, they call him to go. So what? So he should be able to get it wherever So what happens is, so no, I, I look at it like it's even, it's even better because he left from the team he was with for 20 years. That's like if all of us are our captains or lieutenants, and we go to another team, and you bring another team, and you make them shine as much as you shine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for him to go to that team, do they have weapons? Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. But it'd be nice to see him be able to pass the torch to the youngster because it looks like it's going to be Patrick Mahomes' game from now on. People throwing sidearm, people throwing shit under the hand. Like he, he, he changed, the, he changed the fucking game. Mm -hmm. You know some Michael Jordan shit right now. He's so still the, the truth is, they're probably going to win. But I'm a betting man, so my money is on Tampa. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I get you know what I'm saying, and then then Brady retires, and then the Chiefs start doing that dynasty shit. Watch. Well, yeah, I'm going facts. Down. I'm going down what? I got some random facts. Uh, the very random. first football team to come out of Cleveland was, was, not the Browns. was not the Browns. It was actually the Rams. They used to be the Cleveland Rams, and they won the championship and immediately left the city and went to L.A. and became the L.A. Rams. Just get and then. Out in LA, <laughs> the the uh, that's where they, you know, incorporated the white yeah. farmers. And they used to play the kids' high school. So, no, that, 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 went from LA to <laughs> St. Louis, back to LA. You got some more back? Yeah, yeah. white Shout out to Eric Every bus is a war when you uh, go finish it. Nice. Also, uh, uh, the Cleveland Browns uh -huh. are the only football team ever to be an expansion team twice. Fuck uh, Cleveland. True. And and the longest you know, besides all the other dynasties uh, in football, Alvin you know, Kamara, the you got uh, the, game. Yeah. the three yeah. worst teams in the history of football are Pittsburgh, are the Detroit uh, the Steelers, Lions, Detroit Lions, the, uh, and the Cardinals. Green Bay Packers. They changed that this year, so Browns didn't uh, kill that. You got the yeah. Patriots, the you got the 49ers, the Cowboys, <laughs> the won all these dynasties yeah, the that have game. won multiple uh, Super Bowls, you know, and the, during the Jim Brown era. Cleveland Browns we got like four or five championships. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everybody pretends they sleep, he'll stop. Well, no New Orleans facts. I don't know. Breeze took a pay cut. This one. Breeze took a pay cut. You know, there's still something to say. Yeah. Breeze took a pay cut. Breeze took a pay cut. Yep. Breeze took a pay cut. 24 million. Shoot, turn the money. He's like, we'll give it another run. I want to take it. I want another ring. Okay. He was almost there. 
Brady wins. That's and the CBS story all about the facts and stats and how you gamble. So Brady wins. Dabble 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 wins. You already know. <laughs> I dig it. It was other rappers, but Twister and Do It Down went in there. Well, that's motherfucking hot spot. The yeah. shortest all, month all of the year. In the West. Indiana, Ohio, 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 Ohio. It's the shortest month of the year that they gave us. It's Black mm-hmm. History Month. Mm-hmm. So I figured. Bullshit. We just talk about some black history shit, you know. Started off as a Negro Week, which was created in 1926 by Carter G. Woodson, a noted African American historian, historian, editor, and publisher. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. The, no, the month of February was chosen to con- coincide with the birthdays of Frederick, Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, Lincoln. yeah for the property, uh, yeah, special proclamation. How did I did not know that. Yeah. Yeah. Martin Luther King, it, it just was coincidental that his birthday was it resided in the month and then so it, there's a national holiday on top of the month. So the so NAACP mm-hmm. is now 111 <coughs> years old this year. Yeah, that's it, what? NAACP is mm-hmm. 111 years old this year. Okay. That's I didn't know that was going to work out. I knew it was a bit. So we're going to do some first. Some first to becomes, some first that happens, some shit that I didn't even know. First heavyweight champ, black heavyweight champ, his name was Jack Johnson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all knew this? That's, yeah. that's, that's Will 1908, well, held the belt until 1915. <laughs> <laughs> Why have I heard his name in the book? <laughs> what name? Oh. Jack Johnson. And Anchorman was a boxer. Like, uh, he's he's Anchorman, a lot of people, fuckers. Anchorman, uh, uh, Joe Pesci, yeah. they make references to fucking Jack Johnson. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Will Ferrell says it on the bridge, on the San Diego, on the way to Coronado Island. When he gets hit by the motorcycle, he's like, what you want? He's like, what you want to do? You want, you want to tussle? I got Jack Johnson standing right here ready for you. I got a red <laughs> boxing <laughs> fact. Boxing <laughs> fact is about a black person, so you're talking about black history? Yeah, John King is from Cleveland. That's what I was hoping what? that you didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that nigga didn't bring up Don King at all. It was, it was boxing. You were talking about boxing. <laughs> I dig it. Uh, the next nigga, my bad, yeah. I didn't mean to say nigga. <laughs> so the next person I'm talking about, he from Ohio as well. There you go, niggas from First Ohio. First black lawyer, John Mercer Langston. Fuck oh, yeah, shout out to him. from man. Ohio. John Langston. Oh, H? I didn't know that. I but okay. Uh, I know. You know, Rosa Parks is not the first person to get fucked up on the bus. To get not fucked up on the bus, but not want to give up her seat. Yeah, right. I'm sure that sure. happened every fucking day. I'm, I'm sure that happened yeah. so much, but I'm, but whatever. But she was yeah, there. It led to the civil rights movements yeah. and all. And, you yes, know. yes, yes, yes. But she, she wasn't the cops out. She wasn't the first <laughs> person. <laughs> it was a 15 year old named That's Claudette Colvin. Yeah. I was arrested on the bus for doing the same exact shit. What year? Yeah. Rose in 19, I mean, 1955. Mm-hmm. Shout out to anyone who stood their ground in the face of injustice. No shit. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Thanks. Uh, Thurgood Marshall was the first um, African American appointed to U.S. Supreme Court. Mm-hmm. Okay. And he was president. He was appointed by President London B. Johnson. Uh, yep, Johnson. That's what's up. Uh, if Eminem you haven't seen the movie, check it out. And George Washington Carver Actually. developed. The derivatory products from peanuts. Peanut oil. Motherfucking peanuts. And the stoplight, and he was from Cleveland. Among them, he created cheese, milk, coffee, yeah. flour, ink, dyes, plastics, mm-hmm. woods, st- wood st- all st- of that. Soaps, Lionel, 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 Sea Town. Medical oils and cosmetics. Couple times. Mm. The land, bitch. All of from peanut butter. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, you, all y'all, y'all owe all of that shit to Cleveland. And he was from Cleveland. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God well, for peanut that. butter. I eat a motherfucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't missed a motherfucking day <laughs> since I had tea. Protein. That's a fact. We know that. That's, That's a fact. Uh-huh. Right, like Two peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Not lying. Not lying. Every single day. Um, Nine o'clock. Quality. <laughs> Quality. <laughs> Quality. <laughs> Quality. <laughs> First African American elected the U.S. Senate was Hiring Rhodes Revels. That don't sound like a black name. Hiring. Hiring. H I R A M. Harem. Harem. Rhodes Revels. I think that's Middle Eastern. 
No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where your parents. I are, think right? that's the origins of that. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. Uh, first, yeah. First black woman, Shirley <coughs> Chisholm. Chisholm, whatever. I don't know how to say your name. Sorry. Chisholm. First African American woman elected to the House of Representatives. Okay. Big up. Salute. Uh, Madam J. Walker. Uh, you know who she is? No. I didn't know. I've heard, I've heard this name so much and never even knew. She's the first woman millionaire. I've heard it. Really? Sure. Off of cosmetics. Where? In France? In France? No, he... Here, where? In the United States. States. Mm -hmm. yes. the good old U.S. of A. Yep. First, first female black president, vice president is Kamala. Shout out to yeah. the first uh, black yeah. vice Shout out president. president. Her real name, though, is like, yeah. Yeah. her real name is like Susan something. That ain't even her real name. Madam J. Walker is not her real oh, name. I know, so get it down, May 1st, so Oh, are you? I want, yeah, I want to know some additional facts. Are we not supposed to do that? <coughs> no, you can do your thing. <laughs> I got tons of facts. No, I got, I, it, I got it somewhere else. I just facts. I forgot her name. Yeah, no, you, I want to know who that is. I'm not, uh, Madam I'm J. Not. Walker, first millionaire of beauty right. products. Mm. Her family was known for the products, and she was the first millionaire. First black millionaire. First Oscar winner, 1940. Hayden McDowell. Mm. I mean, McDaniel. Yeah. I'm not gonna let us guess. Yeah. I'm gonna have that. From the film, from the horror, uh, was it the film honor, highest honor for Gone with the Wind? She was a slave. Mm. And Gone with the Wind. You know what I think I did? Got her. See that first Oscar. She, when she just yes, she was just honored recently, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. I gave her an Oscar, and then they and then they pulled that movie from everything. Which everything. You can't, can't see it anymore because of the depiction of that. They honored her like that's fucked up that you had to play a slave in that shit. Yeah. You know, we still watch that every fucking year like it's this American treasure. And so they were like, no, nobody can see that anymore. <coughs> so they honored her before the wind. Like, badass. And they really gonna put uh, uh, what's his name? Harry Tubman or whatever is that name? Yeah, mm -hmm. for, for what the freedom on the on the money? Mm. Harry Tubman. Biden Tubman. really putting that on the money. Is it? He taking somebody up to twenty and putting her on it. What a five dollar? It's one of them five dollar bill of the Probably thing. Jackson. Oh, I mean, uh, Jefferson. Well, you taking one of them off and putting her in sheet. Jefferson, the plantation. Harriet Tubman. <coughs> Harriet Tubman. Uh, on the uh, money. I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud. The first one I get, I'm framing. The first one I get, I'm framing. You about to the right. As we know, Jackie Robinson, first baseball player. Facts. Uh, That's first billionaire. Oprah. Yep. Winfrey. Boop. Michael Jordan. Hi! And Bob Johnson, Rest in peace Robert Carol Johnson, Johnson. that's old BT. First black mm -hmm. billionaire. First black billionaire. Now I add Kanye. Make, make sure you add Kanye now. Yeah. You know, before Kanye. And shout out to motherfucking yeah. Barack. Dr. We all Dr. know what Barack is. And Kamala Harris. Did he about to have shout out to both of them. Kamala Harris, first uh -huh. woman, first black woman. She, she busting a lot of records. Yeah. Do you think? Um, Y'all know in jail... The Dr. King Mar Martin, I said his name all bad. Calvin Johnson. Yeah, that nigga. Martin Luther King wrote letters to uh, got a letter from Birmingham Jail that was published in the National Press, and that's what I guess what the "I Have a Dream" speech came from. Mm -hmm. But the most pivotal part of his thing was improvised. Right. But "I Have a Dream" was not even written. In the speech, in the speech, yeah. Right. Like he just, or like he just put that, and it became like the most known part. Like why you remember? That's why you remember his like, right. freestyle. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's why you, you remember his freestyle. Got up there freestyle. Right. When it comes to and that, that's MC. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, Master of ceremonies. Master of ceremonies. Um, see, he had crowd control. Well, I'm gonna give you. I, I do that. He spoke at a church on the weekend. It is a form of, you know, yeah, yeah I right. know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, you did right yeah. 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 right down. Yeah. He just knew it. Come on, now, hear me. Talk to me now, you hear me. You got it. You see, 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 yeah, yeah. Kanye's a billionaire from his clothes and gospel and all the shit he done put out. It ain't even from his music. Well, I'm going to give y'all about seven, ten facts that y'all may not even know. Uh, that march and all with that congregation where he did that, I have a dream people, mm -hmm. it, it was initially not for women. 
It was initially not what? Permitted for women. Women weren't supposed to be allowed. Oh. To have dream? No, to even be there. It's a march on Washington is what it is. Yeah. Saying. Like despite <laughs> Rosa Parks and Daisy Bakes and, and all them people being, you know, doing what yeah, they're doing. His wife and like four others. They weren't even supposed to be there. And there were among ten speakers on stage that day. And there was a whole he was like all he, there was no other black people. Mm-hmm. It was it was like the eleventh person that spoke. No. Huh. Like, <laughs> nigga, you know how long the people waited for the Martin Luther King speech, and it was probably after a bunch of hours saying, or something fuck. after walking there. Like, yeah, yeah, probably after a bunch of people saying fuck black people. It's recorded. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's it's somewhere. You know what I'm it's everywhere. What else we got? Uh, to find the exact. A white well, labor leader this. and a rabbi were among the ten speakers on stage that day. I didn't know that. Why? Well, why well, don't know why that's important? Because it was, it was because it was the. What was it? What was accomplished? A white labor leader and a rabbi spoke about. What was accomplished after that? At the at the at the only white male men, could, you know, only white men could fucking yeah. do anything. So everybody had a voice. Yeah. And they were just like, we go, we go in with Martin. Like we all follow Martin Luther up there. Like that's how we're going to handle it. And everybody's got a speaking part, but they're still in Washington. They're still in politics. The and most stuff. prominent speaker sure was, was rabbi Walter and every, representing Ruther. every ethnicity. Mm-hmm. You know, who Walter Ruther is. He was the head of automobile workers. The United Automobile Workers, the powerful labor union. Okay. That's who he spoke right afterwards. Mm. And Ruther was, he was among the people that marched along with King That's for right. Selma and Montgomery. That's tight. Right. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's tight. Right. Uh, Selma stories are fucked up. He almost didn't even deliver the speech. He was almost like people waited so long for him. He was the tenth person to go. Mm-hmm. He almost didn't even deliver the speech. Like yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was like waiting like, for like, so like, long like, for some people to get antsy and try to leave. And you show up, yeah, you show up at six a.m. for the morning and he don't go on until he's walking out and like back, like who's that? But the speech made illusions of the Gettysburg Address, the Emancipation Proclamation, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and Shakespeare. Where he started off as four score seven years ago. That's how the speech started. It starts, yep. I did not know that. Yeah. It's the yeah, last four speech? it's the last four minutes where you the I the, the I have a dream today. You know the white guy in the back he knows more about his body than the The color not that the color of the skin, but the content of the character is we go on and on. That's like the last four or five minutes of all of that. Yeah. You know the white guy in the back is giving all the news. You black guys look horrible. So when you know, no, I'm I'm really I'm I'm really I'm actually just I'm too busy I'm eating all these rap snacks. I dig it. <coughs> What's up, Mr. Cole? <coughs> right back. <coughs> Off top, I don't fuck with you. Circle of trust, that's just us. See the code, you know the deal. Four three, keep it too real. I'm downtown with a zone on me. Do rag and that chrome on me. Test me if you wanna die. Run up, nigga, that's curtains on me. I'm a cool nigga, but I got limits. Bout about it since no limit. Stash under that Velcro. Fresh down to my shell toes. I'm swagged up on my G shit. Fuck you if you don't feel this. Got all the brothers I'ma ever need. They'll never be on no me shit. When it's time to eat, we gon' split that. Starting five like Golden State. Championships be back to back. Champagne, but this ain't Drake. I ain't Katie and you scallywags. Dylan uh, Chew and Joe Damn Rag. Singing out to my everything. Best that I ever fucking had. Straight up. I don't fuck with y'all. Straight up. I'm a fucking ball. Like AI, MJ, Kobe, D Way, Kyrie, KG, CP3. Straight up. Straight up. I don't fuck with y'all. Administration to help advance civil rights legislation in Congress. Which we all know that. At the same time, the success of the speech attracted the attention of the FBI, which is pretty much why the man got killed. Yeah. Uh, the King family still owns the I Have a Dream speech to this day. I wonder how much that shit costs. So, as far as rating Let's these rap it. snacks, we killed the whole bag, all of them. Every single bag How much does the I Have a Dream speech cost? They still own it. It's priceless. Right. And something's priceless, that means, that means the family keeps it, yeah. or you donate it to Heirloom. a museum and it sits there forever, and then as contributors to the museum or PBS, you get you get a little royalty out of that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's, 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 you put that somewhere where it preserves and it stays right there, and that's where it'll be protected by yeah. the high security forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Yeah, I know who the Quakers are. 
Yeah. I do, the but oh, I'm rusty. Oh, the I guess, but hmm? oh, they were the like no, before the they were just it was, was a society of friends. They were the first ones to try to protest against slavery in That's 1688. They were one of the first. Yeah, they were the first. They were part. They were a group of white boys. Comes the Tea Party shit. Yeah, part of that. Group of white boys. Yeah, they're still okay. Group of white boys, the first ones to try to protest. Hell, they were from George. They was from Germantown, Pennsylvania. Interesting. Well, yeah, from the north. Well, nobody in the north believed in all that. That's why it all went down. Out of 12.5 million Africans shipped to the New World during the transatlantic slave trade, fewer than 388,000 arrived in the U.S. Actually made it. Yeah. Yep. I remember that from Roots. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I've just I just seen some like that. I just remember that from just world history and, and American history like that. I, I just I mean I've just seen the real cool. Yeah, uh, only yeah, yeah, like three quarters, three quarters of the population on the ships. Pat died. Yeah, yeah. ten point seven. They had to do all the fucking you work. Were, you uh, out of the twelve point five, ten point seven survived. Ten point seven, ten percent. You guys want to also? So what did you say? Three hundred eight thousand. So that's ten percent. Three hundred eight thousand. Brazil got the most. You guys want to hear an interesting fact that actually happened? By default, because of that, you know, unfortunately, that's that's a hell of a loss. But scientifically, you know, uh, through what they call um, like um, survival of the fittest, so to speak, like the cream of the crop, the strongest ones were the ones that made it. So those were the ones that, you know, over the, our ancestors come from them. So that's why it... All you have all these like prime athletes, and they're just uh, it's the cream of the crop of that DNA batch that came out, and so that's why you have all these people that have the ability to do these great things. Like, you I know, mean, the and slave trade was going on 200 years before the United States even got into the became a, yeah. <laughs> what you call that? Yeah, so, so to, to Alexandria, to, yeah. to fucking it's to, some uh, fucked up shit that happened. Women. And they say one out of four cowboys were black. Mm. Black men. In fact, they say the real Lone Ranger was inspired by a black man named Bass Reeves. Yeah, because you can't picture back in those days that the Lone Ranger would be hanging out a with someone. He'd be running around escaped. with the Native American when they were. Uh, it was a war. slave that escaped during the Civil War that lived in Indian territory. Killed the bag. That's six just said. Yep. Yeah. Killed the bag. Uh, Betty Boo. You know she was based off a black woman? Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. I, I didn't know some of this stuff. Yeah. I didn't know some of this stuff. Baby. And then you know that that's there was a baby woman. Baby. That, that was her. That was, wasn't that Eartha Kitt? Yes. You know, her name, her real name is. I think it was Betty Boop in her train at one of the episodes she did the Eartha Kitt. I don't even see her real name. Esther Jones. Okay. And then. The original Betty Boop. It was the original Betty Boop. Mm -hmm. There was a white woman named Helen Kane. That adopted all her boops and all that shit. Mm -hmm. Started doing that shit and recorded it all over the world and they got famous. Oh. Uh, so Betty that. Boop did a show and started doing those same sound effects. Helen, whatever her name is, tried to sue Betty Boop. So she stole her shit, yep. made it famous, mm -hmm. and then tried to sue her for trying to use it. That's so many stories mm -hmm. in Hollywood. She got passed. And Betty Boop right. won. All they got Betty Boop still won in court because all the videos of her performing before this lady even came yeah. out. Yeah. Well, she, she was, was the contract. Yeah, it's all contract. She well, lost the case. Well, she goes down. You bring, bring, your, bring your idea to light. It's my spiritual idea. Care. Yeah. Their idea. Yeah. 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 That's how to be remembered. So so her, her, that's why we her and Paramount Picks. That's why we pay attention to who's who. Her and Paramount Picks was trying to sue her. She was one of the first Karens. She was the first Karen. Fucking Karen. Uh, no first shit. licensed African American pilot was named <laughs> Bessie <laughs> Goldman. <laughs> Bessie Goldman, the first African American black pilot. Nice. Uh, 1892 from Texas. Mm. Bessie Coleman. Bessie Coleman. I know mm -hmm. Bessie Coleman. Uh, the interracial marriage in the United States was banned from 1664 and not overturned until 1967. Mm -hmm. First, I'd like to give a special shout out to who was president presiding. Who was president during that time? Because if it wasn't for that, no I wouldn't exist. Interracial marriage. I have no idea. But in '67, the first couple, Richard Loving, a white man, and Mildred Jeter, a black woman, married in District of Columbia, 
And they, when they returned home after getting married, they got arrested and was convicted of violating the state's uh, multi-segregation law. Mm. So they went to another state where they could be married, mm -hmm. came back home, and went to jail. Right. They went to jail for over a year. And still they won their case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they were the first interracial couple. Mm. So they started, they started this jungle fever shit. <laughs> I like to take this time to give a um, special um, spotlight to uh, a foundation that I believe in and I'm a spokesman for making mixed babies. You know what I mean? We are taking <laughs> donations. Go ahead and shoot that to my bro's cash app. Like, you know what I mean? Right now. And uh, all right. Uh, William Tucker. <laughs> making mixed babies .com William that. Tucker was the first known black person to be born in the 13 colonies. In oh. Jamestown, Virginia, in 1624. Uh, mm. First Jamestown. black person on yeah. record born <coughs> in motherfucking Jamestown. That's crazy. What year? 1624. 1624. 1624. 1624. 1624. So, <coughs> so when they first discovered that shit and started colonizing in Jamestown, Virginia. This white guy, Anthony Benezet, a, a, white, a white Quaker, as they say it, a botanist and the educator uh, created the first African American church children's book in the early 1770s. Salute. There was a white guy to create that shit. Mm. That's crazy. Mm. Uh, Lucy Statton became the first black woman to graduate in four year college from a Berlin college in 1850. Mm. I don't mm. even know what state that's in. Germany. That's in Germany. O Oberlin. Oberlin? A Oberlin, 1850. Uh, With a liter literary degree. Here in the States. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought saying Greek, Greek. I thought you were saying Berlin. I thought you were saying Berlin. Yeah, that's Greek Britain. Oh, back then, in 1850, it would have been Germany. Do y'all know who Sylvia Robinson is? <laughs> uh, y'all yeah, have heard that name before, too. Uh, yeah. Sylvia Maybe Robinson. Maybe after, after you drop the facts. Yeah, know you know who Sylvia <laughs> Robinson is? Yeah, After you was just that. looking over here to try to find out? He was. No, I was thinking He needs a prescription though. About my <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia Robinson, do you know who she is? She produced the first rap song. Yeah. This hip hop game to the hip hop. The hip hop. Oh, oh okay. yeah. <coughs> rap was the light. Hey, rap was the light. She was well, I'm a hanging. female produced the first hip hop song. <coughs> Uh, Nat King like Cole the light, the light, was the first ass. black African American to host a television show. Sure, his okay. own hit to have his own show. Sure, okay. mm -hmm. Stevie Wonder was not he was not only the first black artist to win a Grammy for an album, uh nineteen seventy three for Innovations, but or Innovations, my bad, but the first and only mm -hmm. musician to win mm -hmm. album of the year with three <laughs> consecutive studio albums. Nice. Mm. I guess he hold that title to this day. What you got? What you got on my boy Ray Charles? Uh, Brian Gumbel becomes the first <laughs> black <laughs> person to host a mm. network morning show when he joined NBC Network. That's That's right. Right. Yeah. Shout out to Brian, Brian Gumbel. He was on TV for a long time. Right. Uh, we got just some black inventors that I just wanted to say. <coughs> Hairdresser was Christine Johnson. Christina J Jenkins, my bad. Damn Jenkins, girl. In 1952. Mm. She got a patent for it. Mm -hmm. First create, first hairdresser. Mm. Uh, computer scientist Lisa, what was her name? Jilla Birdie? I don't even know how to say her <laughs> name. How you pronounce that? Mm. Gilberto? Gilberto? Gilberti? Galopter. All right. Lisa G. Lisa G. Lisa G. Lisa G. Lisa G. So it she was. was she created oh, shockwaves. Shockwaves, yeah. 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 Science? Yeah. Science sure waves, yeah. Science shockwaves. I love that. <laughs> Just, I, don't, I ain't know that shit. Mm. Uh, yeah. After winning that was four, a hell of a last name. four time 400 meter lay, John Taylor became the first African American to win gold in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. And in 1948, Alice Coachman became the first black woman in the world to win in a uh, gold medal competing in the high jump. Nice. Mm. That's right after we threw the salt at Hitler. Uh -huh. When we went in there and we fucking just went in there and dusted his bitch ass off. Uh, founded in 1984, Bill Pickett 
was the first touring rodeo. Mm. Black men to do rodeo. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, we out here. Yeah, we out was, here. We out here. Uh, you know Shout out to Black History Month. Fritz Pollard and Bobby Marshall became the first black athletes to play in the NFL. I didn't know that. Huh. Uh, Gabby Douglas became the first black gymnast to win individual all around. Yeah. Cheryl Swoops became the first to sign with the WNBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That did that. Oh, right. George Crumb created potato chips. <laughs> His last name was Crumb. His last name was Crumb. <laughs> Motherfucking Crumb. See, I'm gonna make them see I'm fat. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, and uh, Greenville Woods, Greenville Woods invented the telescope, the telegraph <laughs> system. I didn't know that shit. Either. No, it's, these are just people I've never heard of, so I just thought they was fascinating because I just never heard. No, of them. Yeah, right. just, like the no, I was just looking because we had just mentioned in '48, like this is after the war and stuff, and we're and so, like when we went in there, we started winning more golds, and I was thinking yeah. about when the war first started. The last eight, you know, almost eight years when it first started, how Jesse Owens went in there in front of Adolf Hitler, won gold and everything in Germany. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you fucking serious? Like Garrett you know, Morgan. The only other big slap could have been if he was Jewish. Garrett Morgan. <laughs> stop like Stop like Garrett Morgan. That's right. I just found out. Yeah. 1922. That I just found out. It was, it, was it was around now. It was around now. Garrett Morgan. They added like the yellow light to it. Um, Black made the first call. Just recently. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Uh, first, father of the blood bank, Charles Richard Drew. Yeah. And that's why we got blood banks now. Father of the blood bank, you Yep. Saving right. people's lives. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I think I just got one or two more. Um, Mary Van Britton Brown. She lives, she was from Queens, and she was the first person to create video cameras. Yeah. Uh huh. You from Queens, bro? Huh? <laughs> you go create something to try to some surveillance for your motherfucking yeah. house. And uh, Patricia Bath, uh, she created a device and technique that removed uh, cataracts and revived patients' eyesight. Let's go. Yeah, so I just thought, just thought this shit all was all too, I just thought some of this yeah, shit was bro. just tight. And Mark yeah. Dean created was co-creator of IBM's original personal computer. Nice. So we got some black people in there that yeah, did, he did some the shit. design with jobs in them, huh? Probably. Lonnie or, Johnson or not jobs, uh, made billions because he created the super silver. Mm. <laughs> Lonnie Johnson it's created. He gold. made one billion off the super silver back in two thousand seven. And, and uh, okay, so here we go. So fun fact is now I was talking about earlier. You guys might have mentioned this because I stepped out of the room for a second. And he worked for NASA, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a mistake. He did, he was yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And remember that lady, Lisa G. Lisa G, she's the reason why we got gyps. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's the she's the creator of the the web the animation that do gyps. Mm -hmm. So we got some black people. That I mean, no. we use gyps and a yeah, lot of shit mm -hmm. everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So doing shit. That's what's up. We just want to you know give y'all some fun facts. We want to take all your motherfuckers. Like keep that shit on the low. <coughs> Anything else like, before we go? Uh -huh. Anything else before we go? Any new music? What's gift stand for? I don't know. And we'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do it. Any, any, you do. Anything else? Anything else? Anybody want to add? No. Shout out to Devin White. Get live, man. Shout out to all my black people doing something. Black yeah, History man. Month. Take care of each other instead of trying to take each other out. Take care of Tampa tomorrow, you knuckleheads that drove out there during this shit. Florida's had the hardest fucking lockdown since this whole yeah. shit began. And a whole bunch of you drifters are going to cruise in there to watch a fucking football game from the park. Where you're mad. <coughs> Where you mother so don't get mom sick. Because mom. <laughs> mom's a giant and a man and then out there. Yeah. Fuck. Sure, sure. Well, anyway, appreciate y'all motherfuckers for joining. Peace out. Yeah. Shout out to y'all next week. You want this game? That was perfect. Pop! Oh. Lonely with the punches. Dealing with the hunches. What seems right today may turn out wrong tomorrow. And that what will be just be. Oh, that's what will be. Just be. You gotta
let it be You gotta let it breathe You gotta give it time Then approach with ease Life's a needy bitch Oops, excuse my French But she taking more than I can give And I ain't rich I mean I'm rich with family But most of them can't stand me Related by blood That's the circumstances Could think my jaw is solid Cause I've been taking punches Where my honey buns at, yo, I got the munches Tired of responsibilities, I'm trying to function No instructions, shouldn't have tuned out my parents Everything taught, needed, now a parent With the Ignite the present so my future seems brighter Hoping the weight of my past gets lighter Value in time so my grip seems tighter Raised by a warrior so you know I am a fighter Command respect but a few you gotta check Just in case they think of coming for your neck Shit don't always go accordingly But you gotta pay for what you ordering Be yourself, not work to commit and forgery How you feel when the life is already poetry Validate yourself in the need for a notary I let it be but still watch how you approaching me